What's that? What's that? For all you smart Alex out there, what's that? And then we're going to talk about this platform here. I just gave it away, huh? Okay. There you go. See if that'll stay up there. Put my pen down right there. All right. So, we got new subscribers. Leslie Thomas. Float Dizzle. I was watching uh, fishing. Float Dizzle was doing some fishing. Beautiful scenery over there. I uh, found him over at L. Linton. He's always at his channel, so we subscribe to one another. And Brandito Santa Cruz. All right. And what is that? Yeah. Those are two platforms we're going to talk about. But before we talk about them platforms, Man, I got home yesterday, Sunday, and I pull up to the house and say, man, I ain't leave nothing on the porch. There was a box on the porch. I say, wow, I don't remember ordering anything that, that's that size. And, um, yeah. So I took it in the house, didn't pay any attention, changed clothes and everything, got some meat. I say, well, let me open up the box, you know, see what it is, you know. When you got equipment and everything, man, you ordering stuff all the time, and parts coming in, I forget that I ordered this and that, so I didn't know. And I opened up the box, and guess what was in the box? One of you know. One of you got me. But you didn't, you didn't include your name. Now, maybe you did that, and, and you want to, you know, remain anonymous, and, and I'm okay with that if that's so. But if, if it was a mistake on the company, then, you know, let me know so I can, um, you know, uh, 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 thank you properly by your name. Because, you know, I'm very appreciative when somebody thinks about Big Son. But this is what was in the box. Check it out. Yeah, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Well, you look, okay, let me show you why I'm excited. This is what I was using. Look at that. This is what I was using. Look at that. Look at that. It made four of them. And all my stickers have filled up. Look at me now. Look at me now. So whoever you are out there, if you want to remain anonymous, um, that's fine. If you just want to shoot me a personal email, my email address is on my about page, rrobinson953 at gmail. Email. You know, just, just let me know, hey, big son, I got tired of looking at that little board, and I sent you a larger board. And I won't say anything on the channel if that's what you don't want, but I would just like to know who you are, you know, so I just have in my mind that you think about me, all right? If you don't want to let me know, I'm still thanking you. Whoever you are out there thinking about big son, Helping me out, you know, or do this artistic um, artwork that people enjoy from three countries. Got subscribers from three countries. Can't tell Big Son nothing, King. <laughs> but yeah, hey, look. How you guys feel about these two platforms? Stop laughing. You know, they may not look like that thing on your phone, but you know what I'm talking about. That's Instagram. And that's Twitter. I mean, um, oh Lord, I know y'all, I know y'all gonna get me. That's Twitter. Oh, I know, I don't open up can of worms now. Here, here it come, here come Roger, here come John. All right, Twitter. All right, but look, how y'all feel about those platforms? You know, um, I, I, I have them. I don't actively use them. You know, Instagram. I do a little bit on Instagram. I, I basically do nothing on Twitter. But I notice, you know, we, we have some that that's their preference. I don't have anything to guess about. How do you feel about the, the other platforms uh, for our market, our community, Small Engine and Lawn Care? I mean, is, is it popping for you? you? You like it compared to YouTube? You know, what are some of the pros? What are some of the cons? Um, like, for instance, uh, and why I'm asking this is like my son. My son's a chef, okay, and in Maryland. And he does everything. Twitter, Twitter. He lives 
all his news, all his information, you know, it's all done through Twitter. I don't quite understand it like that to be um, that active, um, but I guess I could learn. You know what? Those of you who play around with all of them, or if YouTube is your preference, or if you lean more towards one than the other, t tell me, tell me how it's working out for you. You know what's going on. Um, I know Instagram blows up for some people. You know they they uh, sell on Instagram and and make money on Instagram. Just like people on YouTube. I mean, that's not what I'm looking to do by no means. It's just interesting to me how the platforms interchange and how they work and, and what works good. Um, I would imagine the other two are faster. That's why it seems like they must have a uh, the uh, age group is younger from what I gather. So I would assume, I would assume they're much faster to use which makes sense so yeah tell me how you, how you think about the the platforms and whatever and and hey i'm starting over with the stickers too because you know this one filled up yeah. blew that out the water and um so all of it uh starts over and and who would be the first one to be on this board just guess how many of you can guess Who's the first one to be on the new board? Ha! Huh. Look at that. Who is that? Who is that? Who is that guy? That's him. Roger McDonald. First one on the board. And uh, anyone else who'd like to send me some stickers, my address is in my on my about page. Uh, feel free. Uh, I'm still working on getting my stickers correct. I have some tiny ones. It's you know it's kind of embarrassing, but it's partially my fault because I didn't do the measurements correctly. So my stickers came, and let me show you how small they are. Look at that. And if you can't tell how small that is now, here's my hand. Look at that little tiny baby sticker. Right, as big as I am, you know I'm six one, and 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 everything. I look little tiny baby sticker. So I got to fix that. And thanks, shout out to Frank over at My Green Lawn. He created that. Very talented and everything. So, all right. Um, I'm good to, good to get out of here. But let me let me tell you about uh, three different situations right quick um, before I jump out of here. A customer called me. They did it Saturday and doing it again today. Now, here I am unloaded. But it's right around the corner. So, I'm going to grab a more and a trimmer. Go around there and knock it out. But look. I was over at the church property mowing. I know I got on one sleeve because this is the arm I like to hang out the window. So trying to keep it, you know, sort of be the same color as this. <laughs> so to say the same color as this one. Stop laughing. I can laugh at myself. But look. So I ran into, I was over doing the church yard today. I just want to share with you uh, three experiences I had. Um, and, you know, all good. Just this information. And when I was finishing up, you know, while I was cutting the yard, it was a gentleman. Um, I had already walked around by being in the city. It's always trash, you know. Um, so I walk, do a pre-walk, get the trash and everything. You've seen the church property. So I was cutting, and I guess I missed a brown paper bag. And I, you know, shut the mower, took the blades off, and I got off the mower, you know, to pick up the bag so I wouldn't cut it up. And it was a gentleman. And it was a gentleman walking around uh, and picking up paper. I saw him coming down the street, and uh, he came to the church. You know, he's picking up bottle caps, paper, whatever. So he saw me come off the mower. He came over, uh, you know, to get the trash because I was just gonna stick it behind my seat or in the cubby there. But he, you know, he was like, "Hey, I'll, I'll take that." And you know, I said, "Thank you very much." And he said, "Yeah, I've been out of work for a while, you know, and I'm just trying, you know, find some stuff to do to help people out." So I say, hey, man, I really appreciate that. You know, let me give you a couple of dollars. And he say, no. He say, uh-uh. He say, I, I don't want any money. You know, he say, I just, hey, just want to do something because I can't work, you know, right now. And I was like, wow, that was pretty cool, you know. So, um, and then when I was loading up, I saw, um, all this is at the church property. I saw a guy, um, 
who used to work for me at Walmart. I was the lawn and garden department manager. Um, that's when they had them at Walmart. I'm told now they don't do that. At Walmart, and it was a young fellow, you know, just about all my team were, you know, in the early 20s. I don't think anybody was 30 years old. And um, so I saw this guy walking down the street, and I hadn't seen him in about nine years. And I knew the walk looked familiar, and he came up, and I, I knew him right away. You know, and I greeted him. He remembered me. He said, hey, Ronaldo, right? I said, yeah, man, how you been doing? It's good to see you and everything. And he came right out of his mouth. He said, man, he said, uh, life been a struggle. He said, I'm on disability, and I'm just trying to get my life back together. And, and you know, so what am I saying? I'm just saying that every day that I can get out here and do this, I'm thankful, man. I am really thankful I can get out here and do this work. So if you hear Big Son, complaining about um, heat because it's getting ready to get hot or rain or whatever. You know, you, you see me, call me out. I want y'all to hold me accountable because they ain't got nothing to complain about. You got your health and strength. You can get out here and do whatever it is you do because there's always somebody in worse shape. And the last one, I was at the gas station and I was coming on in and a young guy came up. He looked like he might have been 21. I don't know. And he said, sir, I don't, I don't mean to scare you. I don't want to approach you. He said, but uh, do you uh, you need some help? And, you know, I said, well, you know, I don't need any help right now and everything. He said, well, I'm going to have, have a, my girlfriend going to have a baby. And uh, I don't want to work for a big outfit. And I do landscaping. And uh, I want to start my own, but I just want to work with somebody. So I say, well, young man, you know, give me your name and you know, give me your name and number and if things pick up for me, you know, I keep you in mind. So, you know, there's another situation there. Now, it, does he really want to work? I don't know. Will he work? I don't know. I was just talking to the big company y'all see me always talk to, um, the big outfit, Freedom Moors. Hey, man, you know, um, I think people have a hard time, you know, retaining people. Uh, I've talked to another company there. You know, they just have a hard time keeping people. And one thing I don't think I would be able to tolerate would really get me, if you have my age and have no work at it. You ain't got to know about the equipment. You don't have to, you know, cut like I cut, trim like I trim. But if, just have a work at it. Have some hustle about you. So get up and go. You know, I want to do something. But if you don't, I have zero tolerance for that. You know, let me get out of here, guys. Let me grab some more equipment, go over here and cut this yard and take it all in. All right. Whoever you are that took care of Big Son here, I appreciate you. Let me know who you are. Now, we got to go. Now, you can't stay on this channel all day, and I can't stay here neither. I know you want to. But let me sign this artwork. Let me sign this artwork before we go. Okay. Yeah, let me sign it. There you go. All right, we out of here.